speaking of intangibles, do you think because you guys kind of own them on the big stage that that kind of played a part into the intangibles of this game? No, you know, I think what played a part is just the pressure of being undefeated in postseason. Um, it's really hard, you know, because people are gunning for you each and every time that you step on the floor. And then it's on the big stage. I, I, I wanted our team to keep it close, to put them in a situation where they haven't been all season long to see, you know, if it wouldn't click in for them. Um, and that's what that's what took place. We actually got out to a lead and, you know, they made a run. We hung on and put them back on their heels to where they were, they had to substitute differently. They had to game plan differently. And sometimes when a well-oiled machine has to make adjustments like that, it doesn't work in their favor. And in the regular season, you were winning going into the fourth, lost that one by double digits. So leading today going into the fourth, what was, what was the huddle like going in? Um, it was a much different atmosphere, a much different confidence about us, a, a determined look in their eyes um, during the timeout and the, the quarter break. Um, it, it, you didn't, we didn't have to bring up what happened you know, a month ago. We just had to say, here we are, control your own destiny, take care of the little things, and we'll, we'll win our fourth in a row. And you know what it's like to be a player in these tournaments. For Asia to have never lost a conference yeah. tournament game, how insane is that? That's incredible. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe probably the UConn players are the only players that could really you know, understand that feeling. But to do it in the SEC, for your entire career, you know, it, it happens to special people. And Asia Wilson happens to be that special person. And lastly, how much confidence does this give your team going into the games? You know, I, I don't know how much confidence it gives us. You know, I think we're going to take this tournament and enjoy it um, because we got a, a bit of a break. And then, you know, wherever we're seated and whoever we play, we'll turn the page once that happens. But for now, you know, we're going to throw out the 24-hour rule, and we're going to enjoy it because we have time uh, to enjoy it and to get back in the swing of things in about a week or and a half or so.